everyone. Welcome back to Get Ready With Me, Louise. It's been a while, I know. Um, really, I just didn't know what I was doing. And when you first start doing this, you're so, you're so weird doing it. You know what I mean? And I really didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. But I wasn't for sure, like, what I was, like, supposed to do. And, like, I'm just trying to show everybody from a consumer's point of view because I'm not a makeup artist like I have zero makeup skills and I'm 40 okay so basically this is for people that are just getting into makeup that's a little bit older from like just a consumer's point of view on a product on if it's good or not because I can tell you now I've went through a lot of money trying to find products that work for me and not in an Instagram way, but in a everyday way. You know what I mean? Anywho, I just kind of thought I wasn't doing a good job and just was just, you know, done really. But then I thought, well, what good's that? All the money I spent and all the money that somebody else could spend that maybe I could help one person not spend that kind of money? Like, that's pretty good because I've spent a lot. So anyway... Speaking of a lot of money, <laughs> I purchased the Pat McGrath um, palette. It's the uh, Rose Decadence. De no, yeah, Decadence. Yeah, Decadence. I can't speak today. I can't speak any day. But this is what it looks like right here. And it's, it's pretty. It's a pretty palette. And I will say that I do think that it could be used for an everyday look in certain ways. Um, You'll see here at when I start applying that it, it can be done. Um, the first shade I'm going to go into, because I'm just going to get started, that way I'm not rambling, is Peach Dusk. Now, this is one of those shades that I think that, you know, and I'm going to use the JH30. This is one of these shades that I think you could use for an everyday look. Like, you could put this on as your crease color and then a shimmer and go. I think. Um, but again, I'm not a makeup artist, so, you know. And maybe this is in your type of uh, color, you know, scheme or theory or whatever, you know. Like, if it's not for you, it's just not for you. But I like this color scheme. Peaches and pinks, like, that's right up my alley. I like neutrals too, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel there's a place and time for everything. But I do, you know, think that this is one of those shades that you can literally, like, I could slap it on the eye, throw one of the shimmers on, and go. But each, you know, everybody has their own different taste. And, and that's good. But I don't... There's a lot of times that I'm, like, trying these palettes out, and I'm not really sure of what occasion you could use it for, to be honest. Or, I don't know, like, what to do with it. Whether, because I'm just so confused, because, again, it could look pretty. And 9 out of 10, that's why I'm purchasing it, because it looks pretty. Not because I can wear those shades, not because of anything other than what it looks like. And again, this is one of those times. However, I do happen to like these shades. But I'm just showing you basically, it's not about my technique or anything. It's more about just how the shadows perform so you can see firsthand yourself. So really any age, it could work. Because it's not about what it, the end result is just about the shadows. Now, if you happen to want to watch before, you know, to recreate, a go for it. But, I feel like what you And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so it's not going to be like something that's like extraordinary, like, you know, cut crease type of situation. Although I'm sure it would be fun to do. And you do have to know your own eye shape. 
and like if I look at you right now, this I hear is so much open and bigger than this I hear. And that's just my eye shape. This one's more hooded. And I'm doing this with no fancy lighting or filters or anything like that. So, what you see is what you get. And always start, you when you're using her shadows, always, always start light-handed. Because that's my biggest issue too, is the fact that I don't do that. Alright, so I start out that way, and then I get really impatient, and well, then it's done. You know what I mean? Okay, then I'm going to use a real technique um, smudge brush. I'm going to that same color, and I'm going to run it on low, the lower lash line. Just a second, I gotta get it. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go like this. Got a little more product. And I'm just going up to connect that into that color. I'm using the JH33 and I'm going to start to darken up this um, outer portion, outer corner, I guess, what you call it. And right now I'm just having it where I want it. Or, well, I'm just placing it. And it is really, really hard to do this in the other eye, you know what I mean? To match them both up, but I didn't, when I was doing both eyes, it was taking me way too long to do the video, and nobody's got time to sit there and watch that, you know? And then I thought, well, I didn't want to cut or anything like that, edit, because then, you know, you don't know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? And I want you to actually see firsthand what is going on, in a sense, you know? And again, I'm tapping off. And I'm just going to replace where I can cut it to go to the Baby steps, is what I say.
it maybe one more time. I'll place it. And you kind of want to follow the curvature of your crease or what, you know, with me, I've got hood eyes, so I'm kind of finding the, kind of following the curvature of my orbital bone. Because when I look straight at you, you really can't see anything because they're hooded, you know, my eyes are hooded, if I'm looking straight at you, unless I'm looking down or something, then you would be able to see more, you know. that that shader and I'm just taking it back under there again. had this side on that long. Usually I walk around for hours with this side on forever, but I haven't did that today. I kind of just went from one to the other almost. I mean, I would say this one's been on for about 30 minutes or something like that before I started on this side. But for the most part, it's been, it hasn't been that long. take, I don't even know what this is, a full coverage eye brush, I think is what it is. It's by Real Techniques. It's kind of rubbed off. I've had this for a while. But I'm going to go into the color Scandalous. And I'm going to use it dry 
and I'm just going to place that all over my lid. A new station alert has arrived. And I forgot to turn the phone off. And I was going to apply it wet, but sometimes I just like them dry. You don't need the I mean, with these shadows, you don't need to, other than for the fact that, you know, you might get some fallout, you really don't need to wet them. They are vibrant enough, to be honest with you. But if you do wet them, you do get a better payoff, I will say that, for sure. brush and I'm going to spray it with my Max Fix Plus and I'm going to go into the color Fuchsia Green and I'm going to line my bottom lash line. I'm trying to use all these colors. I'm going to line my bottom lash line with it. I did use it most all the colors, I just didn't use that gold. But in all honesty, I don't think gold looks good on it, to be honest. But I just didn't use it. Alright. And then I took my hourglass of number 11 and I sprayed it with Max Fix Plus and went into Pink Champagne and I put that on my inner corner. Both eyes look pretty much the same. Like I said, I have a different eye shape and everything, so it is hard to get them completely the same. So I'm going to go ahead and curl these lashes.
And I want to use this new mascara by Tony Moly. It's called Panda Dreams. And I heard another YouTuber talk about it. Uh, Mandy Lee, I think. And she raves on this. So, and it's been out of stock on Yes Style. But Amazon got it in. And I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try because she's a new and upcoming artist. Also, and she's just an everyday, you know, mom and, like, just an everyday person. Not to say everybody else isn't, but, like, I just, I don't know. I just, some people, I believe, are telling the truth and some, you know, I don't. And it doesn't look like she's got a lot of lighting and filtering and all that good stuff, so... So far, I really like it, the mascara. But, I haven't tried it that long, so I can't really, you know, say for sure. I mean, it's definitely, like, it's not my favorite, for, but, for the price point, it is a nice mascara. I will say this dries very quickly on your lashes. Like, it becomes really impossible to work with, with like. So, move quickly is all I can say. Alright. And this is the final look. I mean, but if you're on the go, this mascara might be for you, you know? Because it does so quickly dry. And then I got a spot up there. Oh, it might dry. You want to be very careful. You want to let it dry first off, like I did. But and if you let it dry, you can just almost flick it off. But I didn't, so now I gotta deal with that. Anywho, this is all for the video. I I hope you like it. I hope it's useful. I really do. Um, another thumbs up for Pat McGrath. And this time, though, I feel like it's a palette, like I said, that can be used daily on post. So. I know that I'll get a lot of use out of it, it I, most all of the rose, the latest ones she's come out with, I can use on daily basis, so, and I can dress it up or dress it down almost like an outfit, you know, makeup can be the same way, it could be like a glam or it could just be your everyday look, um, it could be a daytime look to me, you know, even. but if you did like this video, go ahead and give the thumbs up, hit like, whatever it is, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that way, you're notified when I do upload. I'm just trying to give my honest opinion to you the best way that I know how and show you step by step the process that it does take for these eyeshadows to work or whatever it may be. Um, as far as the Tony Mole Panda Dream, I like it. So far, so good. The other thing I ordered, I found this. It's um, from Nisha, I think. But it's a different... Okay, so this is... This one here makes me gray. 
and this one here actually matches my skin tone really, really good. I like this one. This one's SPF 50, this one's SPF 30, but I got this off of um, Jen Phelps, her channel. She recommended this, and I would have to agree with her on that. So that's it for today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.